Hi, I'm Jacob, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about creating an awesome video conferencing setup by simply using your iPhone and the new Mac Ventura operating system. And you might be thinking to yourself, why do I need to do this when I have a webcam on my computer? Well, something to keep in mind is the cameras on your iPhone are substantially better than the webcam on your computer. So over a year ago, I created a video about building a pro zoom setup. And I talked about the video conferencing setup that I created during COVID. And as with everyone, all of my personal meetings, they went online and I wanted to create a system which looked and sounded professional. That video I had created a year ago had a ton of views and over 70,000 of you had watched it and there were a lot of discussions around it. And by the way, I'm gonna link that video in the comments below. And many of you wanted some ideas for a quality zoom setup, but at a more reasonable budget. At the time I was using my DSLR camera and a bunch of a really expensive audio equipment, which just wasn't reasonable for a lot of people. I had some of those, you know, the, the cameras uh, sitting around because I used it for other stuff. But for a lot of people, they don't have a DSLR camera sitting around. So I wanted to create a follow-up video because things have really changed, especially with the release of Apple's new Ventura update. And yes, we are somewhat past COVID and most of us are doing face-to-face -face business, but I do feel the business world has been changed forever and we've just learned to become more efficient with our time and rely on video meetings to do business on a day-to-day -day business. So I feel anyone striving to create more business-like or more professional video meetings will just have positive business results. So let's dive into this for a second and talk more about why it's so important to have a pro video conferencing setup. And I am gonna talk about my use case, but I do believe it applies equally to all kinds of business scenarios. So here are my thoughts. If you can't meet someone face to face, it needs to be as close to the real thing as possible. And that means quality video and audio. In my day job, I often meet clients for the very first time over Zoom and we're meeting and sort of interviewing each other to determine if we should move forward and end up working together. In many cases, these potential clients will be meeting with at least a few others offering similar and competing professional services. And my meeting success is extremely high. And yes, I'm knowledgeable about my business, I show up prepared, I dress professional, and I employ all the best meeting practices, which I will probably do a video on coming soon, but I do believe that my Zoom quality is a contributor. When your video and audio is clean and crisp and the lighting is just right, you'll just have a better meeting. And I've had meetings with people and their video is cutting out, uh, their video is all grainy and you can barely hear them. So for myself, that's just uncomfortable and that creates anxiety. And if you're having really important meetings, that's just not a good way to present yourself. So that's out of the way. Let's talk about how we can set up an extremely simple video conferencing system with just your iPhone and the new Mac Ventura. And this setup is gonna look amazing and cost you almost nothing. So hi guys, I thought it'd just be much easier if I just demonstrate on my computer. So, um, I use my iPhone with a little uh, tripod extender with uh, some little feet, and I find that this works best. Um, and by the way, uh, I'm going to put uh, all the parts that uh, went into this uh, in the comments below if you wanna build one of these. And in a second, I'm gonna explain why I use this little tripod extender instead of uh, the many clips on the market that just clip to the top of your laptop or clip to the top of your screen. So. All you have to do with the new Ventura system in your iPhone is just put it down. In my case, I'm going to extend it. There we go. And you just place your iPhone in the little dock. And I use Zoom, but whatever video conferencing software that you do use, you just open it up and the system should just detect your iPhone. There you go. And look at that. I have perfect audio and video. And for myself, I actually use AirPods most often when I'm uh, video conferencing. So I'll just put a pair of AirPods in so uh, I make sure I can hear properly. And uh, there you go. That's as easy as it is. And in the top right hand corner, you can uh, select your options. And there's a bunch of other uh, video effects that you can do. I'm in portrait mode right now. You can, uh, you know, do center stage, so it'll uh, it'll follow you around, um, and uh, you can have different lighting. Um, but I like just the straight port portrait. I think that looks the best. And so I also wanted to explain why 
I went with the um, tripod extender instead of one of those clips that puts your iPhone at the top of the uh, um, uh, computer screen. Well, first of all, I can use this tripod with uh, my laptop and I can also use it with a full size screen. And one of the issues with uh, video conferencing is that you're not looking directly into people's eyes in most cases when you're having a conversation uh, and you're video conferencing. So this actually solves that. I can put it directly right in front of my screen. I can have a conversation with someone. I can see them right up on the screen and it looks like I'm having a direct conversation with them directly into their eyes. So it's just a little bit more personal. It's a little bit more engaging. And if you want, um, and if you don't want it right in front of your, your screen, you could just push it off to the side and you can have it in a different location. So that's why I use this uh, tripod extender. I find it just excellent for video conferencing. So something else I wanted to mention about using your iPhone and the new um, Ventura OS is that um, in a lot of cases where you're using a really expensive camera as your webcam, you need extra lighting and you need uh, some more professional lighting. Whereas uh, the iPhone is doing a lot of um, like processing with the image. So you can be in a dark room like I am right now and the image still looks fairly decent. So that's a huge benefit of using your iPhone as well. Uh, you don't have any cables, it's all done wirelessly. Uh, my laptop is just right there uh, to the side docked and um, there's just almost no lag. It looks just like a, a webcam that's uh, uh, plugged into your computer. So this is just a really neat system. So guys, I hope you like my demonstration of using your iPhone with Mac Ventura OS and um, by the way, if you are using an Android phone, there is an option for you as well. Uh, you might want to check out a program called Camo. Uh, it does something very similar, uh, maybe not as convenient, but the program is actually feature rich. So uh, definitely check that out. It's Camo and I'm going to link uh, in the comments below so you can check that out. And that's pretty much it. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.